Welcome to this week's Q&A Thursday. You ask me your questions about virtual assistants and I do my best to answer them. This week's question is, is virtual assistants oversaturated? This is a great question and yeah, it kind of is, but it's not all doom and gloom because even though virtual assistance is more popular than ever, and it seems as though there are more people than ever getting into this industry, I don't think it should dissuade you from joining the industry and here's why. Not all those people are your competition. There are still so many ways to differentiate yourself um, that I'll, I'll break it down to you this way, just some food for thought. If, if you are the type of VA and you're watching this video right now and you're guilty of doing this, it's okay, it's okay, but I want you to stop doing this. Have you been on Twitter, for example, and you um, are tweeting things out like, do you need a VA, hire me? <laughs> or you're like, I'm for hire, I'm a virtual assistant. Or, or maybe you saw a tweet once where some stranger tweeted, gosh, I really need a virtual assistant. And you've replied with, um, I'm for hire, let's talk. That is not going to get you a client. That's not doing what you think it's going to do. And that's because I guarantee 400 other virtual assistants have also just replied with, I'm for hire, hire me. That tells the client nothing. All it does is overwhelm them because now they have 400 notifications and like they don't have time to go through all those notifications to figure out who is a good virtual assistant or not. Um, don't do that. <laughs> don't be lost in the sea of other virtual assistants. So the best way to differentiate yourself and to really stand out from the crowd and not be lost in this like oversaturated market, um, there's a couple different things you can do. Number one is really focus on your personal brand. I like to say that clients hire people that they like. It is so true in corporate jobs and it's so true for freelancing. Clients will hire you if they like you because they want to work with people who they enjoy. They don't want to work with somebody who's frustrating or annoying or they don't enjoy talking to because as a VA, you're going to be communicating with your client regularly all the time, either by email or by Zoom chats or by phone. And there's going to be a lot of face-to-face -face communication. So um, really emphasizing your personality, what makes you different from other VAs is going to help you stand out from the crowd. Um, Everything that you do and say and type and share online is part of your overall brand as a VA. Um, so what I recommend doing if you're brand new to this industry is come up with a couple keywords that you want to be known as or known by. Uh, for example, maybe you want to be known as a friendly, helpful, knowledgeable person. From now on, everything you share online should hit those bullet points. Every tweet that you tweet should be helpful. It should be funny. It should, oh God, I forgot my three words. It should be helpful. It should be knowledgeable. <laughs> I, can't believe I should have written that down, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. Everything that you want to achieve as a brand, you should embody that in every interaction in every social media post in every email that you send to clients. On the flip side, let's say you're really quirky or you love coffee or you like Marvel movies. Um, you can find different ways to incorporate your personality in your email. You know, you can start an email with, hey client, I just saw the, the new Ant-Man and I loved it. Do you watch Marvel movies? Like just things like that, you know, can really help create a stronger bond between you and your client because you guys are talking like humans, people to people talking like friends. Um, so personality is a big part of your personal brand. So keep that in mind as you are trying to stand out amongst the crowd. Um, the next easiest way to stand out is to find at least one niche service. A lot of people, myself included, will start virtual assistants as a general VA, meaning you're doing general admin work. You're um, you know, you're doing calendar management for people, you're booking appointments, you're making phone calls, you're um, putting meetings into calendars, you're booking flights. That kind of administrative type thing is absolutely necessary in this job. But there are a lot of general admin VAs out there who do this more office-y type work. If you want to differentiate yourself, you've got to find a way to stand out from the crowd. And you can do that in so many different ways. You can niche down in certain services. So what that means is you could specialize in something like podcast management, where you manage people podcasts. You could specialize in 
social media management where you are growing and writing um, Facebook posts and tweets for people. You could specialize in email marketing where you are actually writing sales emails for your client. If you have a certain skill that you're interested in or good at and you think you can turn that into a profitable skill, explore those certain types of skills. Um, I'm going to link up here to a couple different videos. One is a skills inventory. This is where I have you write down all of your skills from past jobs, present jobs, um, but it really helps give you a better sense for what kind of services you could be offering in your business and maybe certain services where you could niche down. So that's a good video to check out. I'm also linking to a video about the most in-demand niches in 2023. So that's an excellent video for you to head to next. Uh, but these are just two simple ways that you can help stand out from the crowd as more and more people become virtual assistants nowadays. Um, hopefully this was a helpful video. Thank you for submitting this question. It's an excellent question. Um, if you have any questions about your business or the business of being a virtual assistant, leave me a comment in this video. I will do my best to get to all of your questions in a timely manner. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this week's video, and I will see you on the next Q&A Thursday.